rain-soaked moth stumbles on the roof. Just like 100 years ago, porters pass through here on rainy days on the narrow, rugged mountain paths. They carried nearly 150 kilograms of tea bags on their backs to walk from Ya'an to Kangding, where the bags were relayed into Tibetan areas. This path is the renowned Tea Horse Road. The section in the Erlang Mountains was one of the most arduous of the Tea Horse Road. The rolling hills offer undulating slopes Today, most of the original roads have been replaced by modern driveways. The ancient Gangshipo village boasts 500 meters of the 108 kilometer original route in Tian Kuan County. After the rain, the road becomes slippery. Young people see it as a safety hazard, but the village elders countenance no damage to this precious path. Most of the oldest villagers <laughs> were about eight years old at the time. This ancient road helps them piece together their fading memories. On the other side of the Erlang Mountains, the terrain and climate are completely different. The land is unsuitable for growing fruits and vegetables. The Tibetans, therefore, obtain vitamins from tea. The Nanlubian tea in Ya'an City is made into long strips before being transported. The porters travel in groups along the mountain paths, with Ganshipo being the first stopover. They rested on T-shaped crutches. The weight of tea bags over time has left these crutch pits. The old people vaguely remember the lively scene when the porters passed by. Nowadays, however, only the bricks and tiles hold those memories. The road to the Tibetan areas has made tea transport easier. The tea bag porter trade has faded, leaving the remaining village roads to share the legends. <laughs> 